frankly, when it comes to climate change and climate change policy, we need to support the biggest solution that's on the table. We need to bite the bullet on the cost because the alternative to not spending the money is A, death, and B, spending even more money. So, um, but anyways, I understand the fear. Even while I was on vacation, I woke up in the middle of the night at 3.30 in the morning, um, just concerned about climate change. And it really, like, freaks me out and it can be really, really scary. Our glaciers are melting, our sea levels are rising. I'm scared sometimes too. I'm scared about disease. There are a lot of things frozen in the tundra. I should put a timer on this actually, hold on. There are a lot of diseases that are frozen in some of these glaciers. Diseases could um, escape these melted glaciers, things that were frozen for thousands of years. They're gonna get into our water, humans could contract them. Even if there are no diseases frozen at all in these glaciers, you have diseases that are spread by mosquitoes. And mosquitoes are starting to fly further north, malaria. Every Midwestern city or large swaths of the middle of the country experiencing drought on a level that we have not seen, um, that's gonna be way more expensive. First of all, we need to start getting comfortable with how extreme the problem is because only until we accept, frankly, how um, bad climate change is and how bad it can be for our children's lives, um, are we going to be comfortable pursuing really big solutions? And people may not like it and they may say, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. Like, we're not trying to end cows and plane travel, but we need to change our lives. All of it, our whole lives. We need to probably ban, well, no, we need to ban single use plastic at some point, although that is not related to climate change, but it is related to our food supply and, um, and how we live. I really struggle sometimes with the idea of how to be a policymaker and potentially have a family in the time of climate change. I sometimes fear what we're going to be living with when I'm 40, 50, 60 years old. I'll dig into it, but you can always uh, look up a lot of the stuff that we've read. Let me just stir this real quick.